Hello, I'm Blaine White of the Administrative Services Bureau, and welcome to the WatchGuard Body Worn Camera Quick Start Video Tutorial. Body Worn Camera Systems are an effective law enforcement tool that reinforces the public's perception of police professionalism and transparency and preserves factual representation of officer citizen interactions. Body Worn Cameras have the potential to improve community relations, strengthen public trust in law enforcement, lower the number of citizen complaints, defend officers like you against false accusations, increase agency accountability, and improve officer training and evaluation. In this video, we will cover the following topics. An overview of your body-worn camera system, proper wearing of the body-worn camera system, how to start, stop, and categorize recordings, pre-shift equipment inspection and testing, using the Smart Connect smartphone application, how to upload the body-worn camera video, body-worn camera video recording considerations, and finally, some reality-based training to help you think about scenarios as you go about your shift with the body-worn camera system. Let's begin with an overview of the body-worn camera and its features. The body-worn camera features a 130-degree field of view and a plus or minus 20-degree adjustable lens to accommodate differences in officer height. To adjust the angle of the camera lens, rotate the lens up or down using two fingers until you find the desired camera angle. The body-worn camera records audio through the microphone sensor located on the front of the camera. The microphone reduces background noise and captures clear audio recordings. It is important to avoid allowing this sensor to be covered or otherwise obstructed to capture the best quality audio. The camera has various methods of communicating and displaying information to the officer. These methods include vibrations, tones, LED lights, and an LCD display. To effectively use your camera, it is important to make a note of the following button locations. Display backlight, record start stop, on, off, or covert. The primary way you interact with the body-worn camera is through its LCD display. Pressing the display backlight button illuminates the display. The display shows different information depending on whether or not you are currently recording a video. You may find the display easier to read if you tilt the device to a downward angle. If you are not recording a video, the LCD display shows the number of recorded events, the amount of storage used on the camera, the name of the officer who is assigned the camera, battery life, the current time, connection strength to the camera's Wi-Fi base station in the vehicle. When recording, the LCD display shows the amount of storage used on the camera, battery life, a blinking recording indicator, connection strength to the camera's Wi-Fi base station in the vehicle. Proper wear a body-worn camera. Installing the WatchGuard body-worn camera on your uniform each shift can be accomplished in a few easy steps. A secure body-worn camera mount is extremely important and you will be issued a locking chest mount with your camera. The chest mount uses two plates with industrial magnets to secure the camera to the front of your uniform. You will start by placing the rear plate behind your uniform and then securing your uniform over the plate. Once you have the rear plate in place, you will then place the front plate with the camera attached over the rear plate. The magnets will secure the plates and this completes the install. You should note the magnets are very strong do not place your fingers between the plates while attaching them. You will affix the mount to the front of your uniform above the horizontal midline of the torso and in a manner that no obstructions from clothing or gear interfere with proper recording. This will ensure the body-worn camera will capture the best recording possible of the officer's scene and interactions with persons on that scene. Turning on Recording and Stopping Recordings Next, we will discuss how to power on and off your body-worn camera. To turn on your new body-worn camera, 
press and release the on-off covert button located on the bottom of the camera. The LCD screen reads booting and the green LED flashes. After approximately 30 seconds, the green LED on the front of the camera turns solid and you are ready to record. To turn off your body-worn camera, double tap the on-off covert button. The camera then vibrates and displays the words shutting down on the LCD display. Should you accidentally only press the on-off covert button once, the camera's LCD display shows the words off two times. In this case, you would need to press and release the on-off covert button once more to shut down the camera. Now let's discuss how to start and stop a recording with your body-worn camera. To begin a recording, press the record start stop button. The camera indicates that a recording is in progress in several ways. After you start a recording, the camera will briefly vibrate, illuminate the red recording LED, make a low to high tone, show record on the LCD screen. To stop a recording, press the record stop button. You know the camera is no longer recording when the red LED stops illuminating, the camera makes a high to low tone, the camera begins to scroll the words event category. If you are using an in-car camera system, you should categorize the video using the in-car camera system's display. This method categorizes the video taken by the body-worn camera with the same category as an in-car camera system. If you are not currently using an in-car camera system, you need to categorize the video recorded on the body-worn camera manually. You can manually categorize body-worn camera videos in one of two ways. The first way to categorize body-worn camera videos is by using the display backlight button. Once the camera begins to scroll the words event category, you now need to categorize the recording event. To categorize the recording event, press the display backlight to toggle through the available event categories. Once you have found the appropriate category, press and hold the display backlight button to save the event's category selection. The second way to categorize the recorded video is by using the Smart Connect smartphone app. The Smart Connect app allows you to see a live view of your body-worn camera and to categorize recorded video. We will explore the Smart Connect app later in this video. Regardless of the method you choose, once you have successfully categorized the recording, it is now ready to upload the next time you place a camera into the docking station at your precinct. Covert Mode The body-worn camera has an additional recording called Covert Mode. Covert Mode allows the officer to record events just like a regular recording. However, while in Covert Mode, the camera no longer illuminates any LED lights or makes any sounds indicating the recording status. Note, although the camera is in covert mode, the LCD display backlight still illuminates if the officer presses the display backlight button. To enter the covert mode, press and hold the on-off covert button for three seconds. You know the camera has entered covert mode once you feel a short vibration. The camera no longer illuminates a green LED on the front of the camera, and the LCD screen displays the text Covert. To exit Covert Mode, press and hold the on-off Covert Mode button for three seconds. You know that the camera is no longer in Covert Mode once the green LED begins to illuminate. You feel a short vibration, and the LCD shows the number of recorded events. During initial body-worn camera issuance, you will be issued a smartphone. On the smartphone will be the WatchGuard Smart Connect app. Smart Connect is a mobile app that allows the officer to view recorded events as well as live view of the camera. To use the Smart Connect app, begin by opening the app on your smartphone. The phone in the body-worn camera should connect simply by the officer opening the Smart Connect app and pressing the display backlight button on the body-worn camera. 
In addition to using the Smart Connect app to get the proper viewing angle for your body camera, you can also use it to categorize recorded video. Pre-shift inspection. Before you begin your shift, you need to perform pre-shift equipment inspection and testing of your body-worn camera. To do so, begin a recording, narrate the video by stating your name, shift detail, and date of shift. End the recording by pushing the record start stop button. Scroll through the event category list until you see test. Then, press and hold the display backlight button to save the video as a test video. After you categorize your video, connect to your camera using the Smart Connect app and verify that your video recorded correctly by reviewing the video you just recorded. During your review, ensure both audio and video are working correctly. This is Officer Brenna Hosey on Tuesday, January 28th for Central C Detail. This is a body cam test. Uploading video. We will now look at how you should upload video from your body worn camera. Since recorded video is considered evidence, the system must upload any recorded video at the end of every shift. Once you dock the body camera to your precinct's body worn camera docking station, uploading should begin automatically. It should take the camera approximately 15 to 30 minutes to upload, depending on the number of recordings captured during your shift. Considerations Now that you know how to operate the WatchGuard body-worn camera, we will discuss some considerations you need to be aware of while operating with the camera. The camera is designed to work in a manner which does not require you to change your tactics. Remember your training and do not change your officer safety tactics in an attempt to capture video or gain a better viewing angle. The body-worn camera has a covert mode, which was discussed earlier in this training. It is recommended for you to keep the body-worn camera in covert mode due to officer safety considerations. After conducting your pre-shift inspection, be sure to place the camera in covert mode. If while wearing the body-worn camera not in covert mode, the camera will display LED lights on the front of the camera, which could give your location away in low light situations. This applies if you work A, B, and C detail, as you never know what lighting conditions you will find yourself in during your shift. While wearing the body-worn camera, you need to be aware the camera is always recording video in a continuous loop. And while the footage is only saved when you activate the camera, you need to be aware 60 seconds of video prior to activation will also be saved with the recording during each activation. Where you especially need to be aware of this is when you're entering locker rooms and restrooms. To aid in the protection of privacy, it is recommended for you to power the body-worn camera off prior to entering a locker room or bathroom or removing the body-worn camera from its mount and placing it in your uniform pocket. If choosing to power the body-worn camera off, you need to be aware it will take approximately 30 seconds to power off and 30 seconds to power back on. You will need to remember to power the body-worn camera back on just prior to leaving the locker room or bathroom area. While wearing the body-worn camera, you need to use caution when typing in passwords or codes to prevent them from being recorded with an incident or event. This includes your Metro computer access, email, Premier CAD, and ARMS passwords just to name a few. To eliminate this concern, simply place your hand between the camera and the direction the sensitive information is being entered. Do not touch a camera lens by covering the entire camera as this could affect the camera picture. During the course of your shift, it is recognized there could be times when you will need to have personal communications through text messaging. As discussed earlier, the body-worn camera will record 30 seconds of video prior to each activation. So even when you have not activated the camera, it is recommended for you not to conduct personal communications in front of the camera. The solution is for you to hold the phone above or to the side of the body-worn camera's viewing angles 
while reading or typing the messages. Reality-Based Scenarios Now that you have received training on how to operate your body-worn camera and have thought about some considerations, we will cover a few reality-based scenarios specifically related to the body-worn camera. The body-worn camera is a tool which can capture audio and video of an incident, but has limitations to giving a complete story. The camera will never be able to see, feel, and hear everything you do. To bring a better perspective to the viewer, you might find it beneficial to narrate at times for the video. During this scenario, you will be shown how narration can give the viewer a better perspective. You pull up on the scene of a suspicious vehicle call for service and order the occupants out at gunpoint. Driver! Put your hands out the window! If this is all the viewers are seeing, they might find this response excessive or not proportionate. Now, if you pull up on the same scene of a suspicious vehicle call for service, and as you arrive, you narrate the vehicle matches the description of one recently used in a robbery, has the same tag of the robbery vehicle, you see the vehicle is running, the driver has her foot on the brake and might take off, and you see multiple persons inside the vehicle, your response could be viewed more reasonable or proportionate by narrating what you see, feel, and hear. This vehicle matches the description of one used in a robbery. The plate also matches. It's occupied several times, and the driver's foot is on the brake. Driver! Put your hands out the window! Now let's look at another example of where narrating the footage captured by your body-worn camera can be helpful. You have responded to a residential burglary call for service. As you progress through the scene, you narrate what you see, such as property damage, entry points, possible items left behind by suspects, property taken or damaged, and suspect information. As you are later writing your report, you review the video and the narration of what your camera is recording helps you enhance the accuracy of your incident report. Finally, let's take a look at a scenario where you could find yourself as you perform your daily duties. It is recognized there could be circumstances which prevent you from recording with the body-worn camera at the beginning of the incident. In these incidents, you shall begin recording as soon as practical. An example of a circumstance which might prevent you from immediately recording would be you are patrolling when you look over and observe a physical altercation in progress. You immediately place your vehicle in park and exit to intervene in the fight, not having time to activate your body-worn camera. As soon as you get the party separated and the scene is stabilized, you shall activate the camera. Thank you for taking the time to view the WatchGuard body-worn camera quick start video tutorial. After watching this training video, you can now see how body-worn cameras are an effective law enforcement tool that can help you build community trust in our communities and build stronger criminal court prosecutions. If you have any questions about the body-worn camera system, feel free to reach out to myself or a member of the Police IT body-worn camera team.